Hello everyone, so for today's episode, we're gonna check Miss India, Miss Universe India 2022 representative. So apparently they didn't have the competition this year, so they just crowned, kind of appointed this year's Miss India. Um, I'm not too sure why that is, but that's very interesting because I know India has been holding their pageants every year and I've never seen Miss India pageant yet as a whole but I know I've seen clips of it it's so fantastic to see like it's so glamorous it's like it's a big event for India so I feel like um, the winner of this year would have a big shoe to fill <laughs> Not only the reigning Miss Universe is from India, but also the work that um, Harnaz has done so far is amazing, amazing, amazing. He has done, she has done so much already in the span of like what six months, and definitely there is a lot more anticipation of. Who will be the next Miss India because they're gonna go in for back to back like I think we've experienced this feeling twice in a row here in the Philippines first was really when Pia won 2016 we're wishing for back to back and with Kat 2018 we wish a back to back in 2019 so I think that's that, that must be the it's like a dreading feeling at most like it's very stressful as well as a pageant fan to really anticipate what's gonna happen and I cannot really fathom how Indians are feeling right now in terms of this new candidate going into the Miss Universe knowing that the need to nail it the second time like for back to back unless the winner doesn't want the back to back so <laughs> let's do this so her name is Devita Rai let's go who she is here okay wow that's a nice turn pretty my father grew up in humble circumstances and his dream at my age was to earn enough to sustain himself and his family. My mother wanted to be a dancer, but because of the conservative background that she grew up in, she was discouraged to do so. But both of them, through their grit and determination, fueled their dreams and were able to accomplish them. And they taught me that in my life, my only limitation is the size of my dreams and the scope of my imagination. So tonight, as I embark on my dream, I intend to display all of the courage, resilience, and perseverance that was passed on to me by my, my parents. Thank you. Oh, wow. Well, we know that it should have, it's, it is, it was memorized. It was memorized, definitely. She know what she's about to say already. And you think she's already had a template for that but the way that she delivered it it's still convincing it's like very genuine and the way her eyes really is just glowing i feel like um and the way that she talks it's very endearing and i forgot to mention like the swimmer competition that was too short by the way it was really a clean turn 
and she has this amazing aura with her. Nice. Oh, her nose was so beautiful. So looking back now, I think the reason why she didn't win this was due to I think confidence. Like her nas and a couple of girls actually just oozing with self confidence and I think that all matters in this competition but to be honest, in the first sight, she's very stunning. But when you see her beside um, her Naz, you can definitely see what's lacking in her. And I think she, I, I should know that she's training and she definitely aiming for the top crown again. But didn't really happen because you know. Uh, there's no competition but lo and behold she was appointed so that's good i hope that she addresses confidence issues the way i saw it was with her face even though she's beautiful she's very endearing there were moments that you're gonna capture her i'm sure so i think that's one thing one of the reasons why she didn't win last year For today is privacy and government surveillance. I genuinely believe it's our fundamental rights to express ourselves, be it dissent, be it critique, be it praise. It's our right to go through uh, life's challenges and be able to address each and everything. So I truly feel that privacy and government surveillance needs to be checked on and it should not infringe on our constitutional rights. Thank you. ...able to address each and everything. So I truly feel that privacy and government surveillance needs to be checked on, and it should not infringe on our constitutional rights. Thank you. She could speak, you know? Just so pretty. Those swim bears really. So this her now. I like the drone shot. Oh, Leave a Steve. Hi, my name is Avita Rai. I'm an architecture graduate and model based in Mumbai. And my story really begins with that of my parents. Both of them, to their lived examples, have taught me that my only limitation should be the size of my dreams and the scope of my imagination. And as someone who's dealt with low self-esteem, their example always pushes me to challenge my own disbelief. I believe that a good life is one where you use your skills to create value, and I've tried to apply that, be it in designing workspaces for weavers as my architectural thesis or volunteering in community work. And so I intend to use this platform to grow and display all that my story has to offer. Living my flow to me is about striving to stay true to myself. It's not always easy, but I remind myself that just like our thumbprints, there's nobody else that's designed like you and I. And so I live my flow by following my heart and chasing my dreams.
large role. I would have to say my brother because he too faced quite a few setbacks in his journey of wanting to become a cricketer and he was able to push back through all of that and represent India internationally at Indo Cricket. And so for me, he's been a greatest inspiration and watching him chase his dreams inspires me to chase mine and be better every single day. She looks prettier with like short hair, I would say. I hope she competes with that hair length. I didn't say much about it because I was really like wanting to listen to her. I think the command that she has is pretty much what we need for a speaker, like for someone who shares a very important message. And that I think is a way to really impress everyone. I would say and she's not doing it to impress pretty much she's just being herself and there's not much of like things that I saw that she could like tremendously work on last year may not be her year but definitely she would be ready for the battle the Miss Universe 2022 she is a good pick I would say if India is eyeing her back to back, I think she is the one. I hope she, I think this I would guess, um, I'll do a separate video for this, but for now, in a high level overview, I would say she needs more personality. I know she already showed her personality but since she's a very good speaker at times I feel like when well I was listening to her it's kind of bookish it's kind of it's perfect I would say but it is not perfect but it seemed perfect while I was listening to her and that's kind of weird um anything that would be a good topic for the next video i'd say because i mean philippines for me is the number one as of the moment um but if there's one person who can defeat philippines that would definitely be india india is coming strong but let's not forget the footage here was taken last year we didn't know if he if she progressed or she digressed and if she progressed even more then that would be amazing um i mean she's more than ready to take on the role again and india would have a back-to-back -back. i do think it's a possibility i mean yeah a whole rounded competitor i'd say yeah, did I see someone who's all around it? South Africa, India, and they could be like girls to beat this year. Philippines, yes. Um, technically, we are uh, and uh, with beauty, she's my number one. However, with what India has shown. I do think that Philippines needs to work on, especially on her com skills, because she's not gonna, she's not gonna win with India. I would say. Ooh. Anyway, yeah, that was my review reaction to Liva Miss India 2022, um, Devita Rai, full performance. If you have. Any requests or if you like contents like this, gonna like and subscribe and see you later.